Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai. Welcome to C++ programming session. In today's session, we will be learning one of the concepts of C++ that's static variables and methods. We will see what is the need of static variables, how to create the static variables inside the class, what is the need of static methods and how we can create static methods inside the class. What are the general rules we should follow while creating static method inside the class. Let's see and let's start doing understand what exactly static variables are. If you create any class, let's say you create a class called student, you can have n number of variables inside it. That's true. But there is one more thing it's true is that as and when you create an object of that class that is student s1 and student s2 then you should know that that s1 will have a separate ID and marks and s2 will also have its own ID and marks that's the general rules of object oriented concept says that is as and when you create an object of a class each and every object will get a separate variables of that class the methods are not being shared I mean sorry the methods have been shared it, are, it is not being separately been assigned to each objects so only variables have been assigned but as and when you say you have a need you want a particular variable to be shared by each and every object of a class then it is not possible with these normal simple variables that is I want to have a special type of variable which should be common for s1 and s2 it should not be create a separate variables for s1 and s2 if there is such a need is comes into picture then these variables can't fulfill that in that case we have to declare that variable as static variable if we declare any variable with a keyword as static inside the class that variable will be a common variable for s1 and s2 as count so that means that no separate variable will be created for s1 no separate variable will be created for s2 in short one single variable will be created that is a count in our case will be shared by s1 and s2 and it will be shared by even by the future objects of that class so if you create s3 also s3 will also share the count share in the sense if suppose s1 assigns a value to the count so, so suppose we take into consideration as 10 then if s2 sees it s2 will find 10 if s2 replace 10 with 20 then 20 will be seen by s1 and s2 that means it's a common variable going to be shared by both of the variable objects so we can even say that count is not an variable of object it is a variable of a class that means it will be declared only once in the class that is and when like the class is there so we can even call class static as a class variable also so some people used to say static as a class variable because it is only it belongs to the class it does not belongs to an object so that is the need of a static variable and in C++ if you want to declare it this is just a declaration and its initialization is done in this way integer is the data type of the variable student is the class name scope resolution count is this is the way how we define or you can say initialize the count if you don't assign so these are the two parts you have to do if you want to create a static variable inside the class first step is declare it static integer count and second step is initialize it initialize it in the sense if you don't initialize it its default value is 0 if you want to assign some value then you can assign here some value to it also this is quite possible static variables are not like the normal variables in normal variables if you don't initialize its default value is not assigned so it will have garbage values whereas in static variables it will have default values so if you don't assign it default value is 0 is considered so we have understood what is the need of static variable how we declare the static variable then comes the static method the same as static variables we can have static methods inside the class like the normal variables it will be a simple variable but it will be having something like a keyword in front of it that is called a static keyword now the most important thing or you should say this is how we create a static method inside the class the only thing you have to remember in static method is that a static method can only access a static variable that means it can access count here but it can't access ID here this will not work okay so you can't access normal variables inside the methods that is the second important rule 
third thing in the static methods you can only access static variables and static methods that means if suppose I am having another method here that is um, void display then in that case display in my case in my scenario is a simple method so I can't call display here this will also not work can't call display method here because display is a non-static method a static method can only be called by a static variables and it can only access a static methods so I can't do that but if it in case if st display is also static then this will work so this is the important rules you should understand let's see an example and I'll show you out suppose we have a class student which is having ID and marks now ID and marks are normal variables so it will not be it will not be a shared variable it will be a separate variables whereas I'm having a static variable as count which is being declared here so as I have kept a keyword static so it will be a common variable for all the objects so I have to initialize it so I'm saying integer count as equal to 10 so I'm initializing it with default value as 10 so I'm saying is void set data that is I'm simply initializing it now t count value I'm passing that value will be assigned to count so whatever object is a whoever calls set data will pass three values ID marks and count whatever ID is then it is being given marks is given count is given only thing is count is being shared by all the objects so whatever the first object we is sending that may be seen by second object also display is a normal variable set kit count is a very method I've created a static method and I've used just use the count I can't use ID here now comes the display just displays here okay one important thing most of the students have a confusion that can a static variable be accessed by a normal method yes a static variable can be accessed by a normal method but a static function can only access another static method or a static variable only that is only the rule you have to consider now third thing comes here so if you can just I want to show that it is been shared as there are two objects s1 calls set data 111 now you should know that one is assigned to ID 100 is assigned to the marks now these two are the variables separately given for s1 so it will be assigned to that appropriately but 11 is assigned to the count count is a commonly shared one okay by s1 and s2 now s2 sets in his 2 and 200 that's fine 1 and 1 and 100 will go in proper place 2 and 200 will go in proper place but 11 will be replaced by 20 because count is shared by s2 also so if s1 says display it will see 1 it will see 100 but it won't see 11 because it is being replaced by 20 s2 says display so it will see 2 200 but it will see 20 now third thing you should know that thing if I want to call a static method like the get count it is a static method is also a class method so you don't need to create an object compulsory to call a static method you can call it with the help of class name so class name scope resolution the method name this is the way how you call the static method let's see and run the output so I compile my program and I run it you can see 1 and 100 is fine but it is get static count is getting 20 so this is where it has replaced it we can see it 2 and 200 is fine the static count value is getting 20 so I'm finally calling that student dot scope resolution get count it is being displayed once again so it is just showing the counts value that is 20 this is how we can do it one more confusion comes into students mind is that can I call get count with the help of object yes you can definitely call get count with the help of the s2 object that is not a problem i hope so if you have seen most of the concept what i have said and you are understood what i want to say if you have any queries regarding the static variables how to create it what are the importance what is the rules what is the difference why we need them you can email me or you can comment me on my video if you want the code and related you will get it from my blog that's we know the best dot wordpress dot com if you have any queries you can ask me through email I hope so you've understood it. If you like the video, please subscribe it and please pass this link to your friends also. Thank you and have a nice day.